Hello everyone! I am Lucy. Today, we're embarking on a culinary adventure inspired by a classic favorite, Kit Kat. Let's start by waking up these sleepy eggs. Whisk and give them a good beating until they're light and fluffy. Now, it's time to add a touch of magic flour. We want to avoid any flurry lumps, so let's gently fold it in until it disappears into the egg mixture. Pours in cooking oil. And just like that, our batter is ready for its grand transformation. It's a symphony of ingredients, ready to be baked into a delightful cake. And now, let's unleash the magic. This batter is about to transform into a delectable sponge, ready to soak up all the flavors and fun we have planned. Melting chocolate is a simple task. Place a heat-proof bowl over a saucepan of simmering water. Don't stop stirring. Now, it's time to transform our cake into a masterpiece. We'll start by cutting the cake into layers. Great cake needs a foundation. And today, we're going to give our cake a warm, chocolatey embrace. Grab your spatula and let's spread this luscious brown cream around the cake, creating a smooth and even base for our masterpiece. Now, it's time to add a touch of rainbow magic. Carefully place the seven color cake on top of the brown cream layer, creating a symphony of colors that will make your eyes pop. Grab your fondant and let's transform it into playful decoration. And now, for the finishing touch, melted chocolate. This rich decadent drizzle will transform our cake into a work of art. This cake is a symphony of flavors and textures. The soft sponge, the creamy frosting, the vibrant colors, and the touch of melted chocolate. It's a culinary adventure worth embarking on. I am Lucy, the best baker and storyteller in the world. Please follow me on Mini Plus YouTube channel. Hello everyone, it's me, Lucy in the town. How is your day? Meet Jack, the lifeline of our town, delivering smiles and packages. Hi Jack, how you doing? Cool, here is yours. Thanks, have a good day Jack. You too. Cake lovers, join me on a dessert escapade. Hey, you're up first. Time for sugar, but just enough for the sweet spot. Mix it up. some secret ingredients to our mix. Unsweetened milk to balance our creation. Blend smoothly. We want fluffy dreams. Spread and send it off to a 350 degree Fahrenheit for 40 minutes. While it bakes, jam or chocolate. Choose your delight. Ever try coffee in jelly form? Coffee or cocoa for our younger chefs. Mixed milk, sugar, gelatin, and our brood secret. Shape 
and set. Ta-da! Cake's out. Time for the artsy bit. Once the cake has cooled, you can also garnish with fresh berries or whipped cream for added flavor and decoration. I will add creamy frosting with coffee jelly nuggets. Accessorize as you dream. Do you like MM candy? So colorful. So beautiful cake, wrapped up, a cake stunner. I think I'll turn this into a neighborhood tree fiesta. Do you guys have any creative ideas brewing in your minds? Drop a comment and share the type of cake you'd love to see me whip up next. <coughs> hey everyone, it's Lucy. Dive in with me for another exciting adventure. You won't want to miss this. Nestled by a dense forest, Young Mi often heard tales of the mysterious forest from her grandmother. Mia, the forest is full of wonders, but also dangers. True bravery is knowing when to protect oneself. One day, Mia's cat, Whiskers, ran into the forest. Without thinking, Mia followed. Yet, her grandmother's advice echoed in her heart. Inside the forest, a friendly fox invited Mia to a dark cave, hinting at hidden treasures. But Mia... ...remembered her lessons. Thank you, but I choose to protect myself. Not all that glitters is gold. Continuing on, she found a sparkling pond. A frog beckoned her to dive deep. For a magic stone. But Mia was wise. Tempting offer, Mr. Frog, but it's essential to stay safe. Appreciating her wisdom, the frog gifted her a guiding leaf. Following it, Mia found what whiskers, and they safely returned home. Back home, her grandmother smiled, seeing that Mia had not only found whiskers, but had also discovered the true essence of bravery. In life, sometimes the bravest choice is to protect oneself and tread wisely. Let Mia's adventure be a reminder for us all. Stay safe, be brave, and remember, it's okay to say no. The story of Maya's adventure in the forest serves as a metaphorical journey through life's temptations and potential pitfalls. The narrative conveys the message that being brave doesn't necessarily mean diving headfirst into every situation. Sometimes, true bravery lies in the wisdom of understanding potential risks and making decisions that prioritize one's well-being. Safety. Bra
Bravery and self-preservation. True courage isn't just about taking risks. Oh wait, I have to find him in candy. Oh, here is it. Let's take a little bit. Thank you guys for joining on this journey today. I really hope can see you on the next video. Now, I have to hang out with me friends. See ya! Kit Kat. Okay, let's make some Kit Kat. Hello everyone, I'm Lucy in the town. What do you feeling today? But first, I've run out of Kit Kats, so guess what? We're going to make them from scratch. Here, I've got condensed milk and cocoa beans. Let's start by roasting these cocoa beans. Once they've dried out, it should take around 15 minutes. Done. Now let's grind them up. Watch my technique closely, guys. It's a bit time consuming, but trust me, we'll end up with the most divine chocolate. And voila! Here's our cocoa powder. How does it look? Let's transfer it to another bowl. Now, pour in the condensed milk and mix slowly until it forms into a doughy consistency. Be patient and add the milk bit by bit. Here's the end result. Quite an odd looking dough. Now, it's shaping time. Let's mold them into little round balls. Take your time and be gentle. This part requires a bit of finesse. Ta-da! My handmade Kit Kat. I think that's enough for now. I need to prep the cake base. I've got my cake mixture ready. Remember how we did this. If you've forgotten, drop a comment below and I'll give you a refresher in the next video. All right, into the oven it goes, little cake. Oh, do you want it? Meet my little squirrel friend from the tree outside. Bet he'd love some too. Let's share a bit with him. Here comes our favorite part. Slice the cake, pipe the cream, and smooth it out. I'm 
choosing red for the frosting as it resembles the Kit Kat wrapper. For the newcomers, pay close attention to my steps, please. I've got these cool spiral wires to adorn the cake. Wondering how I made them? Don't be shy, ask away! Okay, place our homemade Kit Kats on top, and voila, our cake masterpiece is complete. Wow, the cake is too cute, I don't want cut it. Thanks for watching me today. Catch you in the next video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave your lovely comments below. Everyone, I am Lucy from your town. Today, I'd like to share with you the story of Jake's dream to become a police officer. Once upon a time, in a small town named Willowville, there lived a young boy named Jake. From a very early age, Jake had a dream, a dream that filled his heart with determination and purpose he wanted to become a police officer. It is a jar of delicious Nutella. As a child, Jake was fascinated by the police cars patrolling the streets, the officers in their smart uniforms, and the sense of safety and order they brought to the community. He admired their bravery and their commitment to serving and protecting others. Jake's fascination with law enforcement wasn't just a passing interest. It was a passion that grew stronger with each passing day. He began to read books and watch documentaries about the work of police officers, and he hung posters of police stations and badges on his bedroom walls. Jake's dream became more than just a childhood fascination. He decided to take concrete steps towards achieving his goal. He joined the Police Explorers program, a youth-oriented initiative that allowed him to learn about policing and work closely with real officers. He soaked up every bit of knowledge and experience like a sponge, always eager to learn and grow. High school was challenging for Jake. He knew that to become a police officer, he needed a strong educational foundation. He studied hard, excelling in his classes, and was even elected as the president of the school's safety club. In his spare time, he volunteered at community events and helped organize neighborhood watch programs. After graduating from high school with honors, Jake applied to the police academy. It was a rigorous and demanding training program, but he was determined to succeed. He pushed through physical challenges, learned about criminal law, honed his marksmanship skills, and developed the discipline necessary to become an effective officer. Finally, 
The day came when Jake graduated from the police academy. He stood tall and proud in his uniform, his badge gleaming on his chest. He was now a certified police officer, ready to serve his community. Over the years, Jake's dream continued to evolve. He not only became a dedicated police officer, but also a mentor to young kids in the community. He knew that just as he once looked up to officers, there were kids in Willowville who now looked up to him. Jake's journey from a young boy with a dream to a respected police officer was filled with challenges, hard work, and determination. But he knew that his dream had come true because he believed in himself and never gave up. He was living proof that dreams could become a reality, and he was proud to serve and protect the town of Willowville just as he had always dreamed of doing. I'm Lucy from the town. If you want to hear more great stories, be sure to like and follow the Mini Plus page. Hi, I'm Lucy, coming from a small town on the outskirts of the city. I love baking beautiful cakes and sharing amazing stories. Today, let's make a chocolate cake together. Everyone loves chocolate, right? After breaking the eggs and whisking them with sugar, Let's add in the flour and fresh milk. Hey there, what are you up to? I've got a gift for you. Wow, that's wonderful. Come in and wait for me. Just in time. I'll use these for the chocolate cake base. Now, let's mix the batter evenly. Alright, pour it into the mold and bake for 30 minutes at 300 degree Fahrenheit. Hey Lisa, I have some rainbow chocolates. Try some. Wow, these are absolutely delicious. Our cake is ready. Let's cut it. Now, let's pipe the cream between all layers. You're so skillful, Lucy. Thank you for the compliment. With enough practice, you can make beautiful cakes too. Remember to frost the outside of the cake evenly. Now, let's decorate the cake any way you like. I really enjoyed this part. This is the whipped cream I made. It's so soft that it'll flow gently and look very pretty. Add some sprinkles on top and at the base of the cake. I have some chocolates left. Do you want to learn about them? Wait for me in the next video. Insert a few rainbow chocolate sticks and we're done with the cake. Thank you all for watching. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, please comment below. Wow, the cake looks stunning, Lucy. Let's give it a taste. So yummy. Hey there! Remember me! It's Lucy, back in your town! Join me today as I have a special treat in store! Trust me, you don't want to miss this!
First up, look at these colorful fondant pieces. Let's mold them into tiny balls. Done! Now, let's move on to the next step. Follow my lead. Oops, I need some eggs for the cake batter. Let's give these hens a treat first. Thanks for the eggs, my little helpers. Now, crack these eggs into a bowl, sprinkle some sugar. Add a dash of vanilla if you've got any, and whisk until the sugar dissolves. Now, in goes the flour and fresh milk. But remember, just the right amount. Mix it all together until every ingredient is beautifully blended. Pour the mixture into the cake mold. Oh, by the way, I saved some cake from yesterday. Let's indulge together, my friends. Come here, we have a lot to talk. Okay. Meet my dear friend, Nina. It's been a while since I saw her. She moved to another city. I have so much to catch up on with her. Once we finish this cake, we'll join her for a lovely tea break. Didn't you know chocolate is a favorite for many when it comes to birthday cakes? With vanilla trailing behind? The famous German chocolate cake isn't even from Germany. An American named Samuel German crafted a dark baking chocolate in 1852. It later got its name from a recipe in 1957 titled German's Chocolate Cake. Fascinating, right? Stay tuned for my next video where I'll show you how to make this iconic dessert. Okay, now it's time to attach these colorful square fondants. We're almost done. them on top of the fondant balls we shaped earlier. But remember, design it your way. You don't have to copy me. Sprinkle some multicolored edible confetti in the center of the cake. And voila! Our masterpiece is complete. Thanks for tuning in, my friends. Stay excited for our next culinary adventure. Let me know what you think in the comments. Wow, the cake is so delicious, so yummy. Hey y'all, it's Lucy here, straight from our little town. How's your day shining? Come on, join me and let's cook up something sweet and special for a sunny picnic day. First off, we're gonna start with the cake base. I'm using a butter cake recipe today. Let me show you the ropes. Pop that butter in a bowl, add some sugar on it. Now, whether you've got a mixer or just a whisk, until it's all fluffy. Once that butter is softened up and cozy with the sugar, we're good to go. Next up, it's egg yolk time. Thanks, little puppy. Pour in those yolks and give that mixture a good stir. Now, for the must-haves, folks. Pour in fresh milk and some flour into the bowl and mix them up good. Am I going too fast for y'all? If you have any questions, don't be shy, drop them in the comments below. All right, our batter's looking all friendly and mixed. Time to pour it into our mold and get to baking. We're gonna bake at 350 degree Fahrenheit for a good 40 minutes. Now, I gotta pop over to my friend Lisa's place real quick. Come along, will ya? Hello? Hey, I need some food coloring. Do you have it? Oh, yes I have. 
Here you are. Thanks. Let's come to my house and have a tea break. Say hi to Lisa, y'all. She's just the kindest soul around here. Now, with these food colors in hand, let's get to the fun part. Add each color to a bowl of fresh cream and mix them up. Watch closely now. Stir well so the colors blend seamlessly with the cream. Now for the familiar steps. Let's slice that cake and pipe in the cream between layers. And hey, if you want to jazz it up with your fave jams or flavors, go right ahead. Don't forget to frost the outside too. Now, grab a spatula to smooth it all out, making our cake silky smooth. With these vibrant creams, let's start decorating. It might be tricky, but follow along, take it slow, practice, and you'll nail it. My cake might not be perfect, but it sure is made with love. All done and dusted. Time to join Lisa and me for a picnic. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Catch y'all in the next video. And don't forget to leave a like and a comment.